Hey, Rob here from MusiciansHQ.com where we aim to bring you simple tutorials, cut through the crap and help you build a home music studio at home on a budget. If that sounds good to you and you want to watch more videos like this, then please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm going to help you connect a MIDI keyboard to GarageBand or GarageBand for you Americans out there. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do that for a MacBook or a iMac. Um, I'm not going to show the method of connecting to an iPad or an iPhone, I'll do another video on that, so keep an eye out for that, but let's get straight into it. So if you bought your MIDI keyboard new, you should have a USB cable included with it, which will be a Firewire type connection such as this. Uh, if you didn't get a cable included with your MIDI keyboard, then I'll leave a link in the description to the type that you're likely to need. Uh, some MIDI keyboards do have other smaller connections if you've got a small MIDI keyboard, so do check that but it is most likely to be this type of Firewire connector. So then go to the back of your MIDI keyboard uh, and you'll see the USB connection there, clearly labeled in most cases, like on my MIDI keyboard here. And then just take your USB cable and plug it in there. And that is step one, complete. Okay, so I've turned on my MacBook Pro. Now I'm going to open up Garage, Garage, Garage Band okay so I've turned on my MacBook Pro now I'm going to open up the software which I've got in my dock here GarageBand there open that up it's going to ask me if I want to start a new project which I do choose that and then handily in the newer versions of the software it asks you when you're starting a new track do you want to use a particular type of instrument so if you're looking to record your MIDI keyboard, then you can select MIDI keyboard straight away. Click create, and it will give you a track already, a MIDI track to start recording. So you've got that all set up. Next step is to plug in the USB of your MIDI keyboard. So it really is that simple. Take the USB. If you have got a USB dock, plug it into there. If not, plug it straight into the laptop USB port. And then, fingers crossed, it can take a few seconds to realize, but still not come through. It's a good sign. There you go. So it took a little while there. So do be patient. It can take a few seconds for the MacBook to sort itself out and figure out that the keyboard has been plugged in. But then it really is that simple. You can see it's registering a signal, that bar there that you can see going up and down the green shows that there is a input coming in from the MIDI keyboard. Uh, so I can click record and you'll see the MIDI notes being entered as basically lines on the piano roll. So that's how MIDI works. And you can edit those MIDI files in the piano roll, move them around. I'm not going to go into a tutorial on how to use MIDI here, but that's basically it. If for some reason your GarageBand didn't pick up your MIDI keyboard when you connected, I know mine took a little while, but what if after a minute there's still nothing? You can go into File and, sorry, GarageBand at the top and then click on your preferences. And within there, click on the audio slash MIDI, and then you can just click Reset MIDI Drivers. And that'll just get it to sort its life out and uh, hopefully it will recognize it then. Uh, some older MIDI keyboards can just be really problematic. I had one that I've recently just got rid of because it just didn't want to connect to anything. Uh, but you know, the two MIDI keyboards I've shown you here today are still fairly old. I've had them for probably about five or six years, both of them. So you don't need a brand new MIDI keyboard, but I would recommend getting a fairly newish USB one that you know is gonna work without having too many issues in GarageBand. So yeah, that's it. That really is that simple. Hope you enjoyed that video. Like I say, really trying to keep these tutorials quick, simple, easy to follow. If it wasn't, please do leave a comment below. If there's anything else that you need help with, you can't find videos for on YouTube, then please do leave a comment. I'd love to make videos that are useful and um, yeah, help you build a home recording studio on a budget and make some great music at home.